Good morning, it's Western Virginia. It's uh, Sunday, August 3rd, 2014, and we are at a Civil War location in Hanover County. And I got Harvey here. My Uncle Joe is back still at the car, I guess. He's coming through the woods there. But uh, anyway, this is my uh, first hunt with the new XP Deus. I got the 9 inch coil version. Uh, so uh, the other day I tested it in this field and found a couple of bullets. But it was only like a 20-30 minute hunt um, on our way home. So anyway, we're going to give it a good shot today. And then we're going to go to another location in a little while uh, to see what it does at a different location. that should be a little bit better in this field. But we're just kind of waiting for the landowner to get up. So anyway, maiden voyage. Uh, first, you know, decent hour, you know, few hour hunt here. So uh, we're going to give it a test and see what happens. So anyway, Western Virginia, thanks for watching. And we'll get back to you as soon as we can. I'd like to give a shout out to uh, Chris Johnson, Double D, Chad. Uh, hopefully we'll all get together and hunt sometime real soon. And I'm uh, looking forward to it. So anyway, uh, Mid-Atlantic Rolling Coin Hunters, uh, get a video up and check it out. See ya. Alright, West Virginia 954. Um, there's the, you can see the target in the ground. It's right, right on the right side of the pinpointer. It was in this, I used my uh, shovel and then I used my little uh, knife digging tool and it was in that scoop and it fell out. So at the bottom of that is, the top of the hole is here. So it's right at the eight and a half, nine inch mark. All right, you just gotta bear with me here on the day because I still don't know it yet, but uh, the horseshoe here, uh, the right side being, you know, uh, non-ferrous, you know, non the left side being iron, the little, top corner here um, lit up you know and that's obviously a depth meter too so and I read in the book it said if it lights up and gives you no um, VID number to dig it because it's always something good well it hit it it was kind of a crappy signal because I'm getting a little bit of feedback um, still not used to the noise it's almost like a T2 but um, I dug down and then it started coming into like the high 80s once I got down about four inches with the shovel. So anyway, it hit it. I've hunted this field very, very hard. Uh, there's an AT Pro out here right now and an Explorer. Um, eight and a half, nine inches. I'm happy. I mean, this is very clay type soil. So um, still getting used to it, but I'm hunting on basic one and I tweak some sensitivity issues and I... I'm discriminating about a 30 because uh, there's a lot of pieces of fence out here from bob wire and stuff like that. So um, anyway, we'll pull it out live. And it's an infield, which is always nice. There it is. Confederate infield. All right, there you go. Um, wow. I'm not going to say that my T2 wouldn't have hit it or my, uh, my E-Track. But that's pretty deep, and I know I've walked over this spot a few times, quite a few times. So anyway, one for the Deos. Thanks for watching, Western Virginia. All right, Harvey just got him one. How deep, Harvey? Sharps. Sharps? Sharps. Wow, how deep? About eight inches. Eight inches, AT Pro. All right. Here's Uncle Joe. All right, you can see the bullet. It's measured seven and a half inches from the nose of the bullet, pointing down. Uh, seven inches is here, eight's here. So the top of the holes, right? Top of the holes, right there, right at the seven quarter, maybe. Um, it hit, but Joe's old XS, he said he would have dug it. It was enough strong enough signal for him to dig it. Um, I'm getting a lot of false signals. I'm just going to be honest and very transparent with this machine. Every time I hit one of these pieces of grass or the tall grass, I'm getting a beep. Every time the coal even touches the ground, I get a strong beep. Um, so I don't know how I'm going to hunt in the woods. I'll be honest with you. I, uh, maybe some friends... That have the deoses will pitch in and give me some information but if i know if i go in the woods every little sapling every little tree i hit i'm going to get a strong signal and there's nothing more frustrating than 
false signals in the woods. Um, I don't know. I've switched frequencies. I've switched programs. Right now, I'm on basic one. Uh, I've been hunting in the fast, which I think I lost some depth on that. But I've been chasing a lot of false phantom signals that were even pinpointing good. So I've got three bullets. One I, I just dug right there. I didn't film it. I was with Joe. We went over the hole, and I asked him to come over, and he said still it was still a good enough signal on his each or his uh, Explorer XS to dig it. Um, so I'm not getting any depth difference. Harvey's got three with the AT Pro. He's right there. So I'm not out detecting them far as depth, and they're not getting false signals, and I'm getting so many. Actually, I threw my freaking pinpoint. I was so mad at one time. So um, I've dug five false holes, one as deep as about 15 to 20 inches. I was at the bottom of my armpit, thought I was chasing something, and it was giving me a signal, but nothing was there. Nothing was coming up on the Garrett pinpointer, but the machine said it was there. So I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, let's pull it out. Sorry about rambling. I just thought I'd be transparent and be honest and give you my opinion. Um, I think my E-Track is a much better machine. I even think my T2 is a much better machine so far. So, or definitely equal. This one is not doing anything that they could have done. So, all right, West Virginia. We're at right now. Top of the hole about six and three quarters, seven inches. Let's pop it out. I don't know what it is. I think it's a bullet. Deus. Harvey's got five with the AT Pro, so he's in the lead. And like I said, none of the bullets I found were anything that the other machines could not pick up. So it's right there. You can see a piece of it coming around. It's right there. So, we're touching it right now, top of the ground, I'd say about almost 8 inches. So, I mean, I don't know, maybe I'm being too critical coming from a long generation of my labs and T2 and stuff like that, but, um, you yeah, know, I, I wanted a machine that the other machines couldn't touch, so if I was going over a bullet, they couldn't pick it up. That would have been impressive. But every bullet I've gone over, they've been able to pick it up with their machine. So, um, but it's still finding relics, so it's still doing its job. It's a nice one. All right, Western Virginia. See if we can find something else. All right, we're going to I'm hunting four tone now. And this came across pretty good. The soil's a little wetter here than it was over on the top of the hill. More down towards the bottom. So said the depth meter was close to like 7 inches if I'm reading that right, but I don't know if I am or not. And looks like another bullet. There it is. We'll get the, the, the bottom of the bullet. Of course, the nose is still in the ground, but the bottom to the top of the grass. One, two, three, four. About six, six and a quarter. Looks like a gardener. Nope. Three ringer. There you go. Alright, well that's two here in a short amount of time. And this is a pounded spot. I mean literally pounded, but it gets drier as you go up the hill here. So maybe starting to come around with it a little bit. I still don't like the false signals when I hit the, the grass or saplings. Alright. All right, West Virginia just dug the plug out, and uh, I'm hunting on basic one. Got a solid 90. Uh, I've got some visitors here. Got some horses beside me, but uh, let's see what we got. 
new spot we went to. And so forth. Cool. Nice bullet. Look at that patina on that brown. Wow. Alright, that was... Probably uh, six and a half inches. Hit hard. All right. First bullet from this site. All right. Thanks for watching. I got another bullet. I went over to uh, Deus Fast this time. It hit pretty good. Um, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven inches. It's right down there at the bottom, right there. Hit it with a yeah, that string tail. Cool. Alright. Yeah, so I said, I've been thinking still a lot of false signals. Every time I hit like tall grass stalks, and these things bend, guys. <laughs> I can't imagine what it's going to be like in the woods, but every time I hit it, you know, beep, beep, beep. So I'm going to need some help and some guidance with that issue. So I quite never had experienced that with my other machines. So anyway, found another one, a second from this site. So I know Harvey's got two or three. All right, thanks for watching. I'm hunting this knoll here. It's beautiful. Harvey, there's a horse and there's a couple horses rolling around. Looks like Traveler. This is uh, West Virginia still hunting in the um, fast mode and just pulled a round ball. Uh, not that deep. Six and a half, seven inches, but it doesn't come up as a VDI number. It just lights up that top right corner of the uh, non fair side. So, I don't know. Can't read six inches. Seven inches, that's bad. Nice round ball, nice color. Thanks for watching. Uh, Joe just dug this bullet right there, ten inches. Uh, all three of the machines hit it. The Explorer, the uh, AT Pro, and the Deos. Um, so that's bodes well. It was measured 10 inches, but that's a cool bullet right there. And uh, Harvey just found a burn side right behind us. All right, Joseph. Woohoo! Woohoo! I trade that for Coca-Cola right now. <laughs> that could be managed. <laughs> I'll give you a dollar. <laughs> Thanks for watching.